Okay, here we are out today in Olamana Garden. This is a Zola, otherwise known as the mosquito plant in Africa. Why? Does it breed mosquitoes? No, it keeps mosquitoes from breeding because they can't get through to the water. So a farmer is rather clever if he puts this out. Does it drink some of the water? That's great, but I've been told that it's nitrogen fixing. Okay, so it's also very, very heavy in protein. So it's a fodder plant. A fodder plant being described as any plant that you eat, it becomes food fodder. What do we do? We come out here in the morning, we take one half of this, put it in the middle, and I draw it to the side, like this, right? So if I have a nice board, like four foot tall, four foot long, I can do like this. I take my net, and I come here like this, and one scoop, I've got one half of my pond. Now the beautiful thing about this is, well, I like to have a five gallon bucket handy, red handy. And I pull this up, I've got two, two and a half gallons of Azola here now, and I put it in my bucket. And so I take two of these a day, I take one half, and I feed it to my fish. Basically about five gallons of Azola, okay? And the beauty of this is, this will now spread out. I don't have to do anything, I'm just going to do it for fun here this morning. It spreads out, and what does that do for me? Well, I come out tomorrow morning, and it will be full again. So I can take out one half every day, or every other day, I can take out half and it'll be full the next day. Take out half, full the next day. Would you like to have our Olamana Gardens ATM card, okay? Spend half, next morning you wake up and your account's full again. So that's what it does for me, okay? And so this is super heavy, so we feed this to the chickens and ducks. Because we feed it to the chicken duck, we keep screens. We just removed these screens because we're going to do a harvest and we're going to clean all the tanks out. So it's an annual thing that we do. So we're going to do it. But normally you would just come out, lift half the tank, harvest half, close it with it, walk away. It's that easy. The fact is, Liz normally doesn't even use the net. She just pulls it, scoops it with a hand and throws it in there. Pretty straightforward, right? We'll try that. So Vanessa, you're going to do it manually. No net. All you have is a stick, right? So I just come over here, pull it here like that, scoop it up, just take your hand, there you go. Pretty low tech solution, isn't it? Okay? Kind of makes not bothering with the net worth it, right? Mm -hmm. Right? Why bother? Right, Because then if you do the net, you have to go out there and squish it out because you wouldn't want to hang it up there. But you do this, this will spread out like oil on water, and she's good to go again. Okay? So end up the lesson.